Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If it's your first time here, nice to see you. My name's Lauren. I'm gonna talk about some serious things today and I'm a little nervous about it just because um, I didn't plan anything. I don't ever um, like write scripts or uh, make notes really for videos. I just kind of go in and wing it. That could be said for the majority of things in my life. Um, also ignore that zit that is po popped up and I have like, I have stuff going on, okay? I can't help it. Anyways, yeah, I wanna talk about Black Lives Matter that whole movement um it has been something that's been going on for well for a long time now but it's been something that people have been more actively talking about over the past few months i don't know about the whole black lives matter movement that's going on first of all where have you been uh you're not paying attention um <laughs> We've had enough. How many more black people are gonna die for people to realize that this is an issue and that th if there's a pattern and that something needs to be done about it. So I wanna say something. I've said stuff before like on my Instagram stories and stuff, not really like any personal statements, rather sharing information, sharing links, sharing um, petitions that can be signed, sharing all that sort of stuff. Um, and I do wanna say, I know, I'm a white person and what I say is not anything new and it's not anything that is more important than what black people have to say. Rather, I want this to be um, more so um, elevating black voices and like the importance of listening to them and hearing them and further wanting to make a change. I do not feel that I'm in a place to educate other people on um, Black Lives Matter and police brutality, racism, all of that stuff. But I do want to share um, stuff that I've found important, stuff that I've learned, stuff that I think is important for other people to hear. Um, and I want to share that. And then I'm also going to share links and petitions and just, I don't know, any information that has to do with Black Lives Matter, racism, police brutality, all that type of stuff. I'm white um, and I experience white privilege. I see that, I understand that, I recognize that. That's why I'm coming here today and I'm making this video. Because even though I have a small platform, I have a platform and people need to hear, you know, this message. Um, because a lot of people aren't hearing it from the people that they're around. Like I said, I'm just gonna ramble on different points and stuff because I don't have like a list to follow. So that might not be the best method of presenting these points but you know I don't know that's how my brain works I just go jumping around from topics so the second thing I want to talk about is the fact that black lives matter and racism more so wanting or not even wanting seeing these injustices and wanting to resolve them has become an issue of conservative versus liberal It just makes no sense to me how an issue of human rights, human rights, basic human rights, has become an issue of Republican versus Democrat. And I'm just like, I, I can't even be, like begin to explain how wrong that is because it's, it's human rights that shouldn't, like, it's not like an issue of like politics. Also, I should probably also address that when I talk about this stuff, because I do talk about it often, I do tend to get a little heated. So if I get um, worked up or whatever, you know, I like to say that it's righteous um, anger because, you know, we're angry about something that is, we're angry about injustice and that is righteous anger. That is valid anger. But I do believe that, um, Police brutality is a thing, very much so. It's an issue and something needs to be done about it. And um, I'm not going to say that all cops are bad, but I'm also not not saying that. 
If you are a person who is sitting by and watching injustice happen around you, watching your coworkers or your friends or anyone for that matter, watching injustice happen and doing nothing about it, you are thus bad by association, okay? So even if the police officer in any random scenario they're a good guy, they're a good person, but if they're sitting by and allowing someone else to harm someone or hurt someone or murder someone, they're bad. A lot of, from what I've seen, a lot of Republicans have come, not come out, they're very vocal on the fact that they do not support Black Lives Matter and they rather um, support the um, movement, movement, All Lives Matter. So let's dig a little deeper into why that's wrong. <laughs> so I can't, I don't even know how to like, you know what, I'll find a video or I'll find a description or something and I'll put that in because it's just like going into details about that. Not that I don't have the time to do that, but just because it's like, <sighs> the reason it's wrong is because saying all lives matter, yes, we get that. We know that all lives do matter, obviously. But a lot of people think that saying black lives matter, it, it means white lives do not matter or other lives do not matter. And that's not what that means. Saying black lives matter is supporting and seeing how black people are being targeted for their race and you know all the injustice surrounding that. That's what that is. Black Lives Matter. That's all That's all it is, too. I think a lot of people misconstrue it. Black Lives Matter does not mean any other lives do not matter. It just means that right now, in our world, the lives that need to be, um, I guess the light that needs to be shined, and the thing, that, the thing that needs the attention is black lives. And so that's what we need to do, and we need to raise our voice, and we need to make it known. So it's not saying that nobody else matters. It's just saying that right now, this is where we need to put our energy and direct our focus. I don't know what else I was going to say, but, you know, nothing I can say is going to solve the issue or resolve what's going on. But I think every voice matters, and I think we should choose to be on the right side of history, the side of history that cares for people and that loves people and wants to see justice and wants to see change. And this is positive change we're talking about. Long overdue, necessary change. One thing I did want to talk about is how I addressed briefly how the Republican Party is um, very outspoken on the fact that they, the majority of them, do not support the movement of Black Lives Matter. Um, and I, you know, and, and I want to address the fact that a lot, I don't know the percentage, I don't know statistics, but I'm saying I know a lot of um, Republicans identify as Christian or of faith. And I'd like to ask them, you know, the, the old, old, old question, you know, that everyone loves to say, what would Jesus do? Tell me, tell me, what would Jesus do? Would he sit by and say all lives matter and, and just ignore, blatantly ignore the problems that are going on in the black community? Or would he stand up and say, you need to help them. You need to be with them. You need to stand by them and you need to support them. Because what, what about the whole story of how he left the 99 sheep to go follow the one? He didn't say all sheep matter and stay with the 99 and, and watch that one sheep and be like, oh, it will it'll be fine. No, he followed that sheep and he helped that sheep because that sheep was vulnerable and that sheep was in need. And so I want to tell my Christian folks out there as a fellow Christian, how could you stand by and not, you know, you want to say God loves all people, whatever. What about Black people, what about brown people? What about them, huh? They are in need right now. And if you wanna really be like God, you wanna really be like Jesus, you need to be right there with them too. Christ and racism do not mix. You can't say that you love God and hate his creation. You can't say you love God and ignore when people are killing his people. So with that being said, we cannot just sit by and watch these injustices happen and do nothing.
okay? That is not right, and that is not what Jesus would do. And also, you want to bring Jesus into this narrative. You, you want to do that? Let's talk about how Jesus was not white. He was, in fact, Middle Eastern. He was brown, okay? Jesus was not white. Do you want to talk about that? Let's talk about that. One common thread that I've seen from a lot of people is how they love to say that they don't want to talk about it. They don't want to get in the middle of political issues. It's not a political issue. It's a human rights issue. Ugh. But also, if you are neutral in situations of injustice, you have chosen the side of the oppressor. I don't have the time to explain why you're wrong for not supporting Black Lives Matter. And also, it is not Black people's job to educate you on racism and on any of that sort of stuff. You can do it for yourself. If you have enough time to go watch TikToks or go binge watch Netflix, you have enough time to research racism and learn how to do better. It feels wrong to not speak up about it. Um, and I've wanted to for a long time now. I just finally sat down and filmed the video. And I know for a fact that I didn't say everything right and that there's more I could have said or there's things I could have said differently because I'm not perfect and I see that and I recognize that. And learning how to navigate this stuff and navigate situations of injustice is being open to change and being open to growing and learning from your mistakes and accepting the fact that you made a mistake and learning how to do better. And that's something that you have to personally be open to. I wanted to say one last thing about um, the protests. Um, those are awesome you know, and they're still going strong. Just so you know, there are still protests going on right now, everywhere. People, if you've been to protest or if you are supporting people that are going to protest, that's awesome, keep that up. You know, we, we love a good peaceful protest, okay? Um, and if you personally have gone to or are planning on going to a protest or anything like that, or even if you're just planning to leave your house, wear a mask because there is still a global pandemic going on. So, you know, yeah. But um, about protest, um, I wanted to talk about the riots and the um, lootings or whatever you wanna call them. Uh, I guess, I don't know when all that happened. I don't know if any of that is still happening, but I do want to clarify one thing that people, it's so funny because I saw so many people get so angry and devastated when that target like got looted and burned down or whatever the heck. And it's like, really? You're getting upset over a target being burnt down, but you're not getting upset over black people being murdered? Make it make sense. Like, it's just like you care more about merchandise, more importantly, replaceable merchandise than human lives. You mean to tell me you value things, replaceable things, buildings, more than a human life. Yeah, if I have any other things to add or pictures or quotes or anything, I will add that at the end of this video. So yeah, with that being said, at the end of all this, um, you know, let's support the Black Lives Matter movement and let's support the black community and let's pray for them and let's stand beside them and do whatever we can, anything that we can to help them, support them and bring them justice. And um, also along those lines, let's support black creators, black content creators, black small businesses, um, you know, let's just support those people and build them up and build up their community and just be there in their time of need. But more so than that, let's in incorporate that into our daily lives is um, seeing the beauty in black people in the black community and recognizing that. And that that's with I keep I keep like backtracking. But with that being said, recognizing the beauty in the black community, you can't say you don't see color. You can't say you don't see race because we need to see color. We need to see race because we need to see the people that are suffering and the patterns in it. I just, I just felt led to make this video because I don't know. I just wanted to speak about it. I've, I know I've posted stuff or I've said little things, but I really wanted to speak about it, like sit down and talk about it because I think it's a conversation that needs to be had. Um, between a lot of people. I've had to have difficult conversations with my family members um, and people in my life. And if a conversation is difficult, it's a conversation worth having. That's the ultimate goal here is just to 
do better and fight injustice, you know? I really encourage you to do more research and to educate yourself so you can educate others and have those difficult conversations with other people or even those conversations with yourself, you know? Um, the, the place where you have to make the change first is within yourself um, to change your views and change your mindset. That's basically it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something and um, I hope that you'll continue to learn more and um, just, you know, do better, be better. So until my next video, bye.